found out last night? A sex working with the feds. I know where Tasha and Yaz are. And if I die, that information does too. Fuck you, sex. What's up, Power Fans on YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. In this video, I'll be talking about Sax and if we'll be seeing some secrets he left behind for future plots. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now, let's get straight into the topics. If you've been following me before this season premiere, I did a video on the fact that Sax is likely to die in this season and I gave reasons that there is something off about the promos and the artworks that were released before the premiere of this season. I stated that unlike season 2, Sax is missing in all the artworks for season 3 and the fact that Afe, Diana and so forth get to be on the artworks and an OG like Sax is not is evidence enough that Sax will not move past this season. Not everyone believed it when I mentioned a month ago. Well, apology accepted from people who told me in the comment section that I was bugging about Sax and that Sax will not die. That is just by the way. Now, the reason I was so sure that Sax will not make it out of this season is that there isn't any new twist to his character that we don't already know. Sax has been a thorn in people's flesh, a manipulator, someone who can set people up for crime, etc. We saw Sax's love interest, we met his family, we saw him switch to work for Davis and then work against Davis as well. So the moment Sax became a CI to Jenny was the time I was sure that it was one way out for Sax. If you notice something about power, CIs don't really survive for that long. From Omar who was Greg and Angela's CI to Mecca and now Sax. Now, in my last video, I stated that Theo will only hold Sax at a gunpoint for Davis to get agitated like that to ask him to put his gun down. Please. Theo, put the fucking gun down. And I mentioned that Theo will shoot Sax and kill himself, knowing that he will die anyways. Now, why did I say so? If you look at Theo's medical issues and how long he served in prison, he really has nothing more to lose. If Sax is a threat to his brother, he will kill Sax and kill himself. Or end up in jail. Now, almost everyone thinks it was time for Sax to go since he has been one of the oldest characters from the original power. And I think he played his role very well and people will miss his absence when it comes to conflict creation and his character assassination. I don't want to believe they want to make Sax survive another day like they did for that CI who ratted to Blanca about the guns that Lorenzo and Kane were coming to sell. If you notice, he was also shot at the back and survived some extra hours before dying. Well, if Sax still has an information to give any climax in this season, then I believe the writers might keep him alive for some few moments, but if not, then I guess it's a done deal for Sax. We the Power Fans will never forget him moving forward, especially when they continue to play the police investigation scenes. Now, before Sax got shot, he left an information we need to take notice of. I know where Tasha and Yaz are, and if I die, that information does too. Now, it could be that Sax is bluffing with this or indeed he's the only person who knows where Tasha and Yaz are. But I want to believe that Tameka is equally in a position to know where Tasha and Yaz are since Tariq recently added his grandmother without Sax knowing. So for me, I think Sax was giving a last minute bluff but let me know what you think in the comment section about what Sax said and everything that I stated so far. Now, still on Sax, I feel Jenny should pay for what happened to Sax. First off, she made him her CI in a very dangerous way, knowing very well that his cover can easily be blown. And she intentionally didn't give him protection because of her emotions. I banked everything on this investigation and now I have shit all over me. I'm sorry, but I can't ask for protection for you now. This goes to say that even Lauren is not safe because if she finds out that Lauren was the one who gave information to Tariq, who knows what she will do. But I'll be talking about whether Lauren is safe or not very soon in my next video. I feel Jenny can go down for this and she must partly be blamed for Sax's murder. Don't forget Davis knew that she and Sax were having an affair and that was how she was trapping him to giving her information. If I am Davis, I'll blame Jenny for using sex to manipulate his partner not only to turn him into her CI but also having him involved in an ethical behavior like leaking informations that are supposed to be client attorney privilege informations to her. Jenny can lose her job if Davis want to go after her but overall I think Saz had a wonderful journey and everyone was pleased with the way the timing was for him. It's almost as if we all started getting tired of him and the writers did a great job by noticing how the audience would behave if they 
stay too long on this character. Fuck you, Sax. Never again, Jenny. Never again. Now, what would you miss about Sax? Let me know in the comment section and drop your favorite Sax moment or scene. For me, my favorite scene was between him, Tommy, and Ghost when he narrowly escaped his death by acting smart to say something about Tariq. Imagine Ghost and Tommy in one room with a threat they wanted to eliminate so bad that the threat was able to manipulate them and survive for this long. For me, that was a great way to survive in the power universe. So let's show some love to Sax by leaving love emoji in the comment section. He contributed greatly to power and he will forever be remembered. Even if we see him in another video or TV show, for me personally, I can only remember him as Cooper Sacks, no matter his new character name. So let's show him some love, y'all. Now, sadly, Sacks died without confirming or knowing some truth about certain events that happened under his watch. I'll mention just two and allow you guys to mention some other ones if you also remember. First one is, Sacks died without knowing who really pulled the trigger on Ghost, whether it was Tasha, Tariq, or Tommy as he has been accused. The second one is, Sax died without knowing Tommy is still alive and in Chicago. We all saw how desperate Sax was trying to catch Tommy to get his old job back and ended up falling for the plan Tariq brought on board. But one thing I'm sure that Sax died knowing is who actually killed Angela. I did that shit. Killed Angela and you ain't never gonna get me for it. Sax was a potential witness that could validate that Tommy was the one who killed Angela apart from Tasha. Now, Paz is equally aware that Tommy was the one who killed Angela, but she can't prove that without Tasha, else that will only be a hearsay. Now, from the beginning, I thought Sax's death would be the major thing that will happen in this season. But since it came very early before the season finale, I believe something mega is going to happen. In my next video, I'll talk about the Taharas, Tariq, and I'll let you know what I think will be the climax for this season. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell to get notified on my next video, like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching. I found out last night that Sax is working with the feds. I know where Tasha and Yaz are. And if I die, that information does too. Fuck you, Sax. Never again, Jenny. Never again.